believe in yourself believe in your capacity to do good and great things believe that no mountain is so high that you cannot climb it believe that no storm is so great that you cannot weather it believe in yourself good evening everyone i ansh bharadwaj and i shreya singh on behalf of the entire jps lucknow family feel honored in receiving the opportunity to welcome you all to the annual cultural evening for the session 2020-21 where we have taken a step towards a journey of more integration of our different notions we all know that annual day celebrations are a mark of appreciation and encouragement which provides a platform to the budding talents of the school but due to the global pandemic our school has taken an initiative to conduct the first virtual annual cultural evening furthermore i am extremely honored to welcome our honorable chief guest dr dilip lobo chairman sir shri yogendra mohan gupta ji our esteemed chief development officer at jagran education foundation mr bhaskar ganti sir respected principal sir and vice principal sir I now request the venerated dignitaries to pay floral tribute to the founder of Jagran Group and the guiding spirit of our institution late Shri Puran Chandra Gupta ji. Deep Jyoti Par Brahma Deepa Sarv Tamo Pah Deepen Sadhite Saram Sandhya Deepo Namostute Light symbolizes brightness and prosperity. It removes the forces of darkness and brings positivity. With this noble thought I request our venerated principal sir vice principal sir and all the dignitaries to step forward to light the ceremonious lamp Om sajam chavarti sayuktam vanhina yojitam दीपम गहान देवेश त्रैलोक्य तिमिरा पहम थैंक यू एवरीवन आई डीम इट एन ऑनर टू कॉल आवर ऑनरेबल चेयरमैन सर टू एड्रेस द ऑडियंस my dear parents teachers and students of jagran public school lucknow it is our tradition to welcome the audience even in the pandemic situation i am happy to be able to welcome you all using the new technologies in communication Honestly this year gave us the unique opportunity to develop a system that can take education to every home and i am happy to state that our teachers rose to the occasion despite the magnitude of the problem that hit us the indomitable human will was able to find a way to survive thanks to the wonders of the technology and ingenuity of our teachers and principals and support of the parents and our students i was fascinated at the speed with which our teachers came up with a viable alternative to traditional classroom teaching we began our online classes as early as 1st april 
and are now employing academic strategies that the best schools across the globe have adopted. As we hope and pray for the situation to improve, we must realize that formal education cannot be discontinued for a prolonged duration. Let us therefore make the best of these extraordinary circumstances and keep on learning and evolving. I would like to congratulate JPS Lucknow for the excellent results in both class 10 as well as class 12 for the year 2019-2020. I take the, this opportunity to congratulate the position holder of every class along with their parents. My message to all the students is that they must use the talents they are endowed with for the benefit of everyone in society. A string of online interjagran events, even organized this year, I congratulate the schools for having thought of these methods at a time when nothing else was possible. I can understand the void that has been created in the lives of our students due to the lockdown. School fills your life with friends and activities. I hope our young scholars have realized this basic truth. When normality returns and will care more about their parents, their family members, their teachers and friends. I would like to thank the parents for having stood with us in these difficult times. Nothing would have been possible without your constant support. God bless everyone. Thank you, sir. Now we request our Honorable Principal, sir, to present the school report showcasing the achievements and glories of the school. Professor Dilip Lobo of the University of Nottingham, UK, our chief guest this evening, our beloved chairman, Mr. Vayam Guptaji, our vice chairperson, Mrs. Ritu Guptaji, Mr. Bhaskar Ganti, our chief development officer, honorable members of the managing committee, parents, teachers, and my dear students. Addressing a school gathering virtually may be the new normal, but one feels slightly awkward as one presents the annual report for the year 2020-21 before you. One, because one has to be as brief as possible, and two, because there is so much that one wants to share. Right from the first lockdown, we understood that schools were going to be adversely affected in the pandemic situation. But nobody had the slightest inkling that it would devour the entire academic year. Thank God for the marvels of technology. We started our online classes from the 1st of April and have been running it ever since. Whereas it is true that online classes do not have the same effect on the students as classroom teaching, it must be conceded that it is the best available option. 
Those on the wrong side of the digital divide will be experiencing a void in their lives which will be difficult to fill. Kindergarten children also have been facing problems, particularly where both parents are working. Despite these apparent obstacles and many more like poor connectivity, non-availability of enough devices at home, we are about to reach the fourth quarter of the year and are getting ready for the final exams. I wish to salute the teachers, the parents and the students who have helped mold the teaching learning system according to the pandemic model. Before I proceed with the report, a word about our chief guest. Professor Dilip Lobo is professor of gastrointestinal surgery at the University of Nottingham and consultant hepato pancreaticobiliary surgeon at the Queen's Medical Center, Nottingham, UK. He qualified from the Bangalore University, India and has trained as a surgeon in Chandigarh, Nottingham and Leicester. He was awarded a DM degree with distinction by the University of Nottingham for his work on fluid and electrolytes and as a recipient of the Sir David Cuthbertson Medal for his contribution to the field of nutrition and metabolism. He has been awarded the prestigious James I Society of Surgeons Travelers Award and the Moynihan Fellowship. He was associate editor of the European General of Clinical Nutrition from 2007 to 2011 and is currently a member of the editorial boards of the World Journal of Surgery, the World Journal of Gastroenterology and Clinical Science. He has over 130 publications in peer-reviewed journals and has lectured both nationally and internationally. He has been awarded the Fellowship of the American College of Surgeons in 2010 and is a member of the scientific committees of the European Society for Clinical Nutrition and Metabolism, the Association of Surgeons of Great Britain and Ireland, and the International Society for Surgical Metabolism and Nutrition. He is also the chairman of the scientific committee of the ERAS Society and the director of the scientific program for the Society of Academic and Research Surgery. He is comfortably placed to provide us an insight into the future of the pandemic times, which he will do through his address. I thank him for giving his consent to speak to us this evening. In class 12, Sanjit Katiyar topped the school with 96.8% marks. I congratulate his parents and his teachers on this wonderful achievement. Anushka Kumar with 96.6, .6, Ananya Varma with 95.2% and Rohit Tripathi and Shivam Bagla with 94.8% each stood first, second and third respectively in the science stream. I congratulate their parents and teachers for the brilliant performance. Similarly, Devanshu Agarwal with 95.8% topped the commerce stream while Akshara Pant with 93.4% and Ilma Ansari with 93% marks stood second and third respectively in the commerce batch. Congratulations. It is really encouraging to see the performance of our students in humanities. Sanchit Katiyar topped with 96.8%. Astha Gubrele and Divyanshi Agarwal were tied at the second place with 95.6% marks, while Nain Chandra Mishra stood third with 95.2% marks. Altogether, 35 students got an aggregate of over 90% this year. I take this opportunity to thank all their teachers and congratulate the students and their parents on this remarkable feat. The results were sent per cent. In class 10, Ansh Bharadwaj topped the batch with 97.83% marks and 22 of our students scored over 90% marks. Amrit Samant, Ayushman Rai and Shreya were tied up at the second place with 96.17%. I congratulate their teachers and parents on this praiseworthy performance. 
Our students participated in several online events organized by other schools and brought back several trophies and accolades. In the English Extempore, organized by JPS Noida, Shreya Singh won the first prize. In the online quiz organized by Puranchan Vidya Niketan Kanpur, Ananya Yadav of class 5 came first. Ayushi Singh class 8 and Anukrati Pandey class 7 came first in another group. Avya Saxena of class 7 bagged the first prize at Kanzoneta organized by Mount Carmel College, Mahanagar in vocal music. Anukrati Pandey of class 7 came first in the Sanskrit Sangoshti Nibandh organized by JPS Varanasi. Ananya Srivastava got the third prize, Bhuvardhan Tiwari got the third prize in Vad Vivad. Kavya Upadhyay got the third place in freestyle dancing organized by JPS Noida, while Reshu Pandey of class 7C secured the second place. In the online gaming event organized by JPS Lucknow, Ansh Bharadwaj of class 11, Devyansh Singh of class 11, and Ayush Srivastava of class 11 won the finals. JPS Varanasi hosted the Hindi Parv Parishad in which Akshara Varshne of class 1 got the third place in Vacha Kabhinay. Pankhuli Purvar and Kartik Varma of class 6 secured the second and third positions in Bhashan. Pranjal Singh of class 1 grabbed the third position in Ashu Bhashan. Sarthak Mishra got mentioned in the Celesta International organized by CMS. Avya Saxena of class 7 was selected by the Shankar Mahadevan Academy for regular training in vocal music for three years after her live performance in the TV program Tare Zameen Par. In the Shutter Scope Photography Contest organized by the Pearl Academy in Canon, India, Sajal Srivastava was the first runner-up. He also got a cash award of rupees 10,000. We congratulate these winners and their proud parents. In the computer carnival organized by PCVN Kanpur, JPS Lucknow secured the second position. I take this opportunity to congratulate all our rank holders in the examinations of March 2020. They have already been felicitated in the school. I thank Professor Dilip Lobo from the University of Nottingham for having consented to preside over the function from Nottingham despite his hectic schedule. I would also like to thank our management for having looked after all the staff members in these difficult times. I would like to thank our IT team headed by Vice Principal Mr. Umesh Kaul for having provided digital support during the pandemic times. I thank the teachers who have proved to be great learners all of them have shown initiative and mastered the technology required to continue educating our students online when nothing else was possible. I thank my coordinators, Mrs. Ruby Arora, Mrs. Venu Sanjeev, Mrs. Babita Bhatnagar, Mr. Neeraj Tiwari, and Mrs. Preeti Sharma for having managed the academic schedule, which had to be totally revamped to include the online teaching and testing programs. Special words of gratitude for our chairman, Sri Vayam Guptaji, our vice chairperson, Mrs. Ritu Guptaji, and our CDO, Mr. Bhaskar Ganti, who has decided to hang his boots after having guided us for so many years. Thank you, and God bless everyone. Thank you, sir. Dr. Dilip Lobo is Professor of Gastrointestinal Surgery at the University of Nottingham and Consultant Hepatopancreatic Cobiliary Surgeon at Queen's Medical Centre, Nottingham, UK. We rarely get an opportunity to listen to the words of great personalities like Dr. Dilip Lobo. So I request our venerated chief guest to address the audience. Chairman Mr. Gupta, Principal Singh, parents, and most importantly, students. It is indeed a privilege and an honor to be invited to preside over the 14th annual function of Jagran Public School. Principal Singh and I were classmates in school, and our association dates back more than 45 years. This function refreshes the memories of my school days, and with a feeling of nostalgia, 
I would like to remind the students to cherish the memories of school, as when you look back, you will find that these were the best days of your life. Friendships built during school days are sincere and long-lasting. My classmates are scattered all over the world, but thanks to social media, we are still in contact with each other and have the same fun and camaraderie that we had during our school days. We pull each other's legs and still tease each other, but without any malice or rancor, and also share in each other's joys and tribulations. Under the leadership of Mr. Gupta, the chain of Jagran Public Schools has become a name to be reckoned with for the delivery of education in Uttar Pradesh. The chain was established in 2007, and the progress made over the very short period of 13 years is truly remarkable. Several components are necessary for a school to succeed, and these include visionary leadership, dedicated teachers, high quality facilities, and students with the desire to increase their knowledge, learn, and excel. All these attributes are visible in Jagran Public School, but I would like to remind the students that although academic excellence is important, there are other aspects of human development that should, they should concentrate on. These include developing skills outside academics, which include sports, cultural activities, empathy, kindness, honesty, and the desire to help others. And that is education, all-round development that helps us cope equally well with both the highs and lows in life. I would like to congratulate Sanchit Katiar, who secured 96.8% marks at the board exam and all the 35 students who got marks in excess of 90%. And to those students who are not in this elite group, I would like to say that life will give you many opportunities to excel and gain fulfillment. Academic excellence alone does not make a good or successful person. Whatever pathway you decide to follow should be driven by personal choice and not by external pressures. That will help you develop a sense of self-satisfaction and achievement when you look back at your life in 40 to 50 years time. 2020 has been disrupted with COVID-19, but has also showcased the best in human resilience. We have learned to cope with life and work differently and complete our tasks using innovation. The speed with which the vaccines have been developed is a testament to what can be achieved by collaboration, hard work, and innovation. Hopefully life will get back to normal soon. COVID has had a big impact on global economies and individual finances, but has also taught us lessons in frugality. We have learned that we can exist with much less money and resources than we think we need. We do not need the luxuries in life that we have become accustomed to, and we have learned to help those who are less fortunate than ourselves. We are no longer casualties of the rat race, but are slowly becoming advocates for change, and that is change for the better. I wish the valedictorians well. You have a bright future ahead of you. Make use of the opportunities that come your way, but don't make those near and dear to you a victim of your success. Spend quality time with your friends and family, have fun, enjoy life, and be ambitious, but don't chase the unattainable. Finally, for the students, I would like to paraphrase the words of Mark Twain and remind you to never let your schooling interfere with your education. Education and learning are lifelong processes and are what enrich our lives. And for the teachers, it is noble to teach oneself but still nobler to teach others and very much less trouble. Thank you. Thank you. Vakratunda Mahakaya, Surrekoti Samaprabha, Nirvigna Kurume Deva, Sarvakareshu Sarvada. Oh God, with curved trunk, large body, whose aura is like light of crows of sun, please make my entire work obstacle free forever. Let's start today's event by evoking the God of excellence and good beginnings, Lord Ganesha, 
बाय गणेश वंदना What a wonderful performance! Indeed, it was. Success is no accident. It is hard work, perseverance, learning, studying, sacrifice, and most of all, love of what you are doing or learning to do. Every year, the academic achievers are honored on the auspicious occasion of annual function. Keeping in mind all the precautionary measures of COVID-19, the achievers of the session 2019. 20 were felicitated in school which was witnessed by their proud parents here's a glimpse of the prize distribution ceremony of the pre primary and primary section
Take Me Home Country Roads, also simply known as Take Me Home or Country Roads, is a song written by Bill Danoff, Taffy Nifford and John Denver about the state of West Virginia. The song has achieved a prominent status as an iconic symbol of the state of West Virginia, which it describes as almost heaven. In the March of 2014, it became one of the four official state anthems of the state of West Virginia. Please welcome our junior school choir who is here to sing this magnificent song for us. A mellifluous performance. Now, here are the glimpses of prize distribution ceremony of the achievers of junior classes.
yoga is the journey of the self through the self and to the self yoga is a mind and body practice with a 5000 year history in ancient indian philosophy various styles of yoga combine physical postures breathing techniques and meditation or relaxation so here is a group of students from classes 6 to 12 to showcase their yoga skills that was an energetic and enthusiastic yoga routine portraying great force and vitality let us rejoice the musical journey with our extremely talented aradhya verma of class 11th who is here to present the infamous song faded by alan walker
Wow, what a captivating and soulful performance. Let's witness the felicitation ceremony of the achievers of classes 9 and 11. The legend says that present-day Indian music integrates soulful melody, sublime spirit and compelling charm of its lyrical intensity. No wonder rags have stood the test of time and are even popular today as they were since the time they originated. So with this I invite our sonorous instrumental group to present a classical performance on Rag Bhopali.
That was a soulful and refreshing performance. Winning isn't something that happens suddenly on the field when the whistle blows and the crowds roar. Winning is something that builds physically and mentally every day that you train and every night that you dream. And our students dreamt and achieved. They were felicitated for their excellent results in the board exams. Take up one idea, make that one idea your life. Think of it, dream of it and live on that idea. Let the brain, muscles, nerves, every part of your body be full of that idea. And just leave every other idea alone. This is the way to success. With this motivational note, I would like to welcome our school choir who will present the song Ruk Jana Nahi by Kishore Kumar.
tiny toddlers are always fun to watch. Let's see JPS pre-primary kids in full vigor as they dance to a catchy tune. What a mesmerizing performance! Indian culture is the repository of a multiplicity of religions, customs, regions and languages. In this aspect, India is unparalleled in the world. One such feature of Indian culture is the Rajasthani folk dance. So, put your hands together for the young dancers of our school who are going to present a Rajasthani folk dance performance on the song Look Chup Na Jao Ji. जाओ जी मन दीत कराओ जी रा क्यों तरसावे हो मन सकल दिखावो जी थारी सरारत सब जानू मैं तो धरी हर सले उन बंगा दी मैं कह लगे मर बड़े मैं जागी तो कणी रे चंदा मैं थारी चांदनी मन दामन में पा दी कुसी रे जुम 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 दा जुम ओ ओ ओ मर इबड़ में जागी तो कनी रे चंदा में थारी चांदनी मन दामन में पा दी कुसी रे जुम 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 दा जुम That was a vibrant performance. Now I would request our head girl Shreya Singh to deliver the vote of thanks. Good evening everyone. I, Shreya Singh, head girl of this school, 
extend cordial greetings to our venerated principal sir vice principal sir worthy teachers parents and my dear friends it's my privilege to propose a vote of thanks speech and acknowledge the contribution of those who worked really hard to make this annual day celebration happen i on the behalf of entire jps lucknow family extend my most sincere thanks to the almighty god for making today's event a resounding success with his blessings and grace we are able to make this event what it is an event like this cannot happen overnight the wheels start rolling weeks ago it requires planning and a bird's eye for details a special mention to our respected principal sir for being the catalyst that stimulated us to do our best and standing as pillars of strength with a deep sense of appreciation i thank our loving teachers for their untiring efforts i would also like to thank the people who work behind the scenes to make this event happen my sincere gratitude goes to all parents and well wishers for your rock solid support system and encouragement thank you so much for attending this event finally i would thank our budding rock stars that made this event joyful with their impressive performances your days of hard work were evident in your acts all the programs were very good and were enjoyed by each one of us present here thank you stay safe